somewhat on bounds of hyperkeratosis. Yep. But everything else with this power looks pretty normal. Like, not much inflammation in the dermis. Good. Um, when I went in really close on those mounds of ortho hypercare, I could see some little organisms um, like spaghetti and meatballs. Good. And little spores. Short, high being kind of that bluish color that you were talking about, so tinea versa color. Yeah, exactly. We're here on the trunk somewhere, and you see bluish hyphae and yeast, well, then it's going to be tinea versa color. When you just see the yeast, that I regard as being, some people have proposed that this means it's just commensal. I see just Malassezia furfur, Pitterosporum ovale, whichever name you like. I think Malassezia is the current name, but Pitterosporum has such a nice ring to it, I think. When you, you see the little clusters of the Malassezia or Pitterosporum yeast in the openings of hair follicles or in anything where there's thick keratin, like over the top of seborrheic keratoses. I see this all the time. And I don't even mention it because it's just, those are just commensals growing on the skin surface. But when they start producing hyphae, once you get the, not just the meatballs, but the spaghetti, that's when you know it's actually probably a spreading eruption and it's actually, or a spreading infection that's actually uh, tinea versicolor or pitter, pitteriasis versicolor, as some people like to call it, because it's not actually dermatophyte fungus, and not tinea. And I feel like um, the spaghetti meatball appearance is best seen actually on a skin scraping, KOH preparation, but you can sometimes see it in areas where you get thicker um, keratin because the keratin kind of comes loose and flips. And then you're basically, basically what we're seeing there is the equivalent of what you would look at on a KOH preparation. And you can see little hyphal structures and the little yeast forms. And I, I feel like you guys recognize this clinically and don't usually biopsy it. The times I see this most often is actually I've seen it over uh, melanoma. Just totally incidentally, I've seen it over top of, of an AK or, or a squamous cell carcinoma in situ. So I tend to see this as an incidental tinea versicolor finding where there's actually hyphae and, um, and yeast. Um, in the setting of, you, you know, the dermatologist doing a biopsy for something else that was the actual lesion. And this was just like a bonus finding. I mean, I just actually had a case of that not too long ago. And here for the final pictures. Here's a, a closer up view of it. very nice yeast. And you can see they're budding yeast. So when they're round and they're making buds, you know, it's yeast. And then they've got the, the hyphal structures here. But again, I mean, if you said this was the vulva, I'd tell you it was probably candida. If someone out there knows reliably, honestly, how to morphologically tell apart this right here as being tinea, uh, uh, being malassezia rather than candida, please teach me. Because I have, after looking at many cases, I don't feel like I'm able to do that without using some extra context clues like the clinical uh, information. All right. So there we go. That's uh, tinea versicolor.